What's up? It's Jim with Reverb.com. We are back with another pedal demo. Uh, thanks again for joining us. We are looking at the new V3 of the Earthquaker Devices Hummingbird. Uh, Earthquaker is one of our favorite pedal companies uh, made in Akron, Ohio. The Hummingbird is modeled after the tremolo circuit you can find in an old 50s Valco amp. It kind of goes into the territory of some old Vox units, but it goes way beyond that. So just like a lot of the other Earthquaker Devices pedals, you can really push this into some experimental territory. Again, you can get that 50 style tremolo out of it, um, but where this pedal shines, at least for us, is uh, this kind of synthy uh, ring mod, even bit crusher kind of tones, um, which we can get into in a little bit. But before we start playing, um, let's talk about the controls a little bit. Obviously you have depth and rate like on most other tremolo pedals, but you do have a level knob and this is actually with the depth all the way down, this is acting like a JFET clean boost, uh, which is super useful. A lot of times you flip on a tremolo pedal, you lose a lot of signal. Uh, this helps compensate for that. There's also this three-way switch in here. The first position is more of a slow, like that 50s style tremolo that you can get. Uh, the second position all the way on the right gets it a little bit faster. And the third position, which is right in the middle, is kind of that more synthy sort of style trim that uh, I, was, I was mentioning. It's always nice when a pedal company includes an expression pedal out. You can really dial in tones on the fly, even make uh, the tremolo move uh, on its own. So let's dive in. I'll show you a couple tones that I've found in this. Uh, again, we always encourage you to uh, grab one for yourself and try it out. I have here a uh, late 90s wine red Les Paul standard that one of the guys in the office just picked up on Reverb. Great deal. Uh, and we are running into a Vox AC15. And we're mic'd up with a Shure SM57 and a KSM32. So let me first show you this clean boost. I have the level all the way up, the depth all the way down. Here's my dry tone. start with the mode selector in the first position, that's the slowest setting. I got my depth halfway up and I got the rate somewhere around 3 o'clock. Got a little reverb happening too. So we're going to dial up this depth knob, kind of make the tremolo just a little bit more dynamic. So we're going to switch over to the second mode, this is a little bit faster than the first one. Um, and basically the rate knob which was here on the first mode is basically here on the second mode. Um, so we're going to dial it up uh, about halfway just to kind of show you that this one is uh, obviously a lot faster. So we're really getting into ring mod territory. So let's take the depth back a little bit and just kind of see how this interacts with the sound when you have a little bit more dry signal in it. Let's switch into the third mode. This is, uh, this is going into synthy ring mod, bit crusher territory. Um, and before we turn everything all the way up, let's uh, bring these back to a reasonable level. I'm going to take back the clean boost to uh, kind of halfway up again and uh, just kind of play around here for you. <laughs> experimental, we are going to turn everything all the way up just so you can hear what it sounds like. We've also plugged in the expression pedal um, and I think you'll agree that we can kind of get pretty far out pretty quick. So here we go. So 
So that's the Earthquaker Devices Hummingbird version three, super rad pedal. A uh, lot of cool tones in this box that I'm sure you can find use for in your board at your next session. Uh, definitely check it out. Definitely subscribe to our channel for uh, updates on our latest demos. And uh, we'll see you next time.